Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. We're looking at Triangle, which you can stream on Plex or Freebie. Melissa George's Jess is a single mom taking some time out from looking after her autistic son Tommy to go on a yacht trip with kind of maybe boyfriend Greg and some friends of his. And Downey, I've known him since I was a kid. Sally, his wife, I know her from high school. Out in the middle of the ocean, things get weird. Is that normal? They receive a distress signal. Help me. Please help me. Just before the storm hits. Get down. And then... They see someone on deck, but on board, all is empty. And emitting a real shining vibe. Note the room number. Jess is instantly uneasy. I feel like I know this place. And rightly so, as things get weirder... Is it mine? ...and bloodier as they are hunted by a masked figure with a shotgun. And then, plot happens, and it becomes impossible to talk specifics without ruining it. D don't, you, don't you see that this is all just in your mind? This is what I call a twisty thriller, where you are asking what's going on as much as what's happening next. Despite some ropey effect shots, this is a well-made film, especially for the budget it's on. I found it light on tension, but it certainly has enough blood in it, if that's your thing. But, with a few exceptions, I don't like this whole genre. It just irritates me. It's a personal thing. The other half of Dark Corners quite liked this film. So did a lot of people, based on what I've read. So, shockingly, if this isn't your sort of thing, it probably won't be your sort of thing. God, it's not making some sense. It's making perfect sense. There are things that did not work for me specific to this film. Firstly, for something with so many twists, I found it very predictable. Look at you. Long story. I wouldn't say I knew how it would end from early on, but I always felt two steps ahead of the narrative. I'm sorry I'm acting weird, Greg. It's just I'm having deja vu every time I turn a corner. I also must admit that I found Jess herself quite an irritating protagonist, through no fault of Melissa George, and she is on screen almost all the time. So if you don't engage, that's a bad start. And the knock-on problem is that old Hitchcock axiom that if the audience notices plot holes, it's because they're not engaged, they're not enjoying the ride. I wasn't, so I did spot the holes, and it just doesn't add up. I want to go home. I think if I was caught up in it, then I wouldn't care, maybe wouldn't even notice, and although it seems stupid to give a positive conclusion to a film I didn't like, and which did bore me, my sense is that this is a good example of a genre that usually has that effect on me, so if it is your thing, you know, have at it. Possibly I'm the wrong person to review this, but that's how reviewing works. Even critics have personal tastes. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Yay or nay on twisty thrillers? Do people even know what I mean when I say that? Let us know in the comments below.